G'day everyone, back again today with another Nose V3 rerun. Uh, this is map 10, Carnage Expressway. Uh, when I first maxed this map, I told myself I was never going to come back um, for reasons that will become pretty clear when we get into the demo. Uh, but my first exit was very sloppy and I had this nagging feeling in the back of my head for a while telling me that I should try and come back and bring my time down. Eventually my resolve broke um, and I did come back. Uh, I was able to take nearly two and a half minutes off my, my original time, um, almost entirely just through cleaning up my play um, in most of the, the second half of the map. I'm pretty happy with the time. It could go lower, um, but probably not a ton more. Um, there's not really all that many routing decisions that you can make um, throughout the map. It's, it's kind of linear, um, but anyway, let's get into it. All right, start by running forward and grabbing the backpack. Um, and then we just, we're gonna go straight over and start up the secret fight. Um, the secret fight is the reason that I didn't wanna rerun this map. It's almost purely RNG uh, for reasons that you'll see in just a moment. Um, so we run forward, grab the BFG, and then we get a forced uh, partial invis, and we have to deal with these three cybers um, on platforms with partial invis. There's no real, um, there's no real science to it. I just YOLO rush all three of the cybers. Um, you can try and dodge on those platforms, but it's extremely unreliable with the partial invis. Um, there's no way that I found to um, to play that in a way that is safer and still reliable. Um, so I, because it's at the start of the map, I just choose to you know, to, to go full balls out on it. So. From here, we head to the second fight. Um, Still got the partial invis because I got through that first section pretty quickly, so we have to be a little bit careful here. Um, I'm kind of ducking out pretty regularly. Uh, in my previous demo, I would just sit in that um, cubby on the right-hand side permanently, but there's a group of um, cybers at the back, and I want to try and encourage infighting between them and the um, and the Hell Knights. Fortunately, one of the cybers has managed to push through um, and smack me with a rocket um, and left me on a little bit of low health, but. Um, and end up having enough to get through. Um, <clears throat> so I try and clear out the um, cyber bruises basically as quickly as I can. Trying to save some cells. Um, I want to use some cells on the, the rest of the imps that were on those stairs that we ran down a little while ago. I nearly get stuck in here, but thankfully <laughs> still have enough cells to push out. It's kind of unfortunate that I have to, I've only got one BFG shot left now. It means I'm going to have to use some rockets on the imps on the stairs. It does cost me a little bit of time, but it's not a, an extreme amount. Um, do need to be pretty careful now. Um, I'm now at a point where one, one uh, 64 damage uh, fireball from one of those Hell Knights can end us, so got to be quite careful. Um, I'm just got to clear up the rest of the ones on this side. Um, it's the exact same setup on the other side of the room. Um, but it's quite easy to clear them up. You've got plenty of rockets with the and super rocket launcher just does absurd damage, especially against group, groups of Hell Knights that like to um, just sit, sit quite close together. Do still need to be careful. There's the same um, group of Cy Bruises on the other side as well, and they can thread a rocket through the, the crowd, which is, you know, it's quite difficult to see incoming projectiles with the amount of rockets that you're shooting out here. Um, so yeah, I need to, I kind of just like to shift slightly left and right um, occasionally just to make sure that if there are any coming that I see them. Um, I don't want to grab the Megasphere just yet, I need to, to save that for the start of the next fight. Eventually when it's clear enough I'll push through. to fill up on rockets probably not a hundred percent necessary uh, before the next fight but um, it is rockets are quite useful in this fight they they do way better damage than the BFG and they also um, let you stay at range so um, I like to use rockets for the entirety of the first phase here against these arachnotrons um, you don't want to be trying to you know run across the face of these guys with BFG you'll, you'll take way too much damage um, but I do need to be moving around fairly um, regularly. There's some sniping cyber demons that teleport into to pillars on the left and right hand side, you can see now. Um, 
and if you sit still, you know, you'll not only take damage from the Arachnotrons, but also from those Cybers. So, so when the Manx teleport in, um, there are, for the Mancubi and also all of the subsequent waves, there are teleport line deaths that will teleport some of them in behind you. Um, so you need to be doing this dance of um, going back and forth, shooting some of the guys in front of you, but not completely ignoring what's behind you. Um, in addition to that, there's also quite a lot of spectres that teleport in with this Mancubus wave. Um, it would be nice to just st stick with the um, infinite rocket launcher here, um, but given the brightness in this section, it's not really wise to, to stay with it constantly um, because you'll you'll eventually face rocket yourself. A, a spectre that you won't see will pop up in front of you. So. Um, so the next wave uh, is going to include some cyber demons uh, that will teleport in behind us. And when those guys start teleporting in, which they are now, I'm going to go to the back of the room and just try and put all my focus on these guys and try and do as much damage to the cybers as possible. Um, these guys will be the last enemy standing in this fight, so the more early damage I can get on them, the better. Um, and it's also just a little bit safer being back at this part of the room because the, the big group of imps that are still in the, in the cave at the back there, um, they'll protect me against most of the cybers that are at the very back of the room on that side um, but the cybers that have teleported behind me have got free reign to shoot me so I want to try and keep keep my eyes focused on them so that I can dodge um, the rockets rather than have them coming straight in behind me. I'm just going to come back and do one more pass on these cybers, clear out a few more. Now that I can see those white lights um, in the back of the room um, that tells me that the final um, set of walls has come down um, I also, you probably saw some plasma coming in from behind me, that's a whole bunch of evil marines that spawn in. Um, and as soon as they spawn in I like to get to the back of the room so that I'm not having to deal with them and hopefully most of the cybers can clear up the evil marines. Um, I came in, grabbed the red key and also opened up that secret wall. Um, but you don't want to open up the secret and stay in there um, because you're most likely going to have a rocket coming for you. So I, I open it up, run out and then go back in to pick up the mega. Um, didn't really need to get the Mega then, but I just don't want to have to, I want to make sure that I tag the secret straight away so I don't have to worry about, um, you know, having to run to the back of the room again, considering the teleporter to, that gets me out of the room is behind me, um, so I don't want to have to run all the way back down to the other end of the room um, at the end of this fight if I don't need to. So. Um, now, you can, uh, you can theoretically leave this fight as soon as you get the red key. Um, the problem with doing that is that by the time you get to the point where um, like you're on a timer waiting for those walls to come down and by the time you get to the point where the red key becomes accessible it's almost only cybers left anyway um, so there's very little point in leaving them down here to clean up the last you know 20 30 barons or whatever it is um, and then having to spend time running back to that fight later to clear out the last cybers anyway so I just stay down there and clear them up. Um, now with that fight done, we're back in the main area. Pretty much all the hard stuff's done. Um, I'm just going to clear up these revs and the last few imps and then we've got a, a wave of arch files that we, that we need to kill as well. Um, in my previous demo, I didn't clear, clear up those revenants at the back section there. I kind of woke them up and then came back to start killing the imps, um, which was a pretty silly decision. I don't know really why I, I did it or what my thinking was at the time. Because um, it just lets all the revenants spread out. Some of them go inside the um, uh, kind of that inner sec inner building. Um, some of them come around the left side. Some of them come around the right hand side. There's plenty of cells around here. You don't really need to to worry about encouraging infighting or anything like that. So I just circle strafe them and, and work them down with cells while they're in one big clump, which ends up being a fair bit faster. Just going to clear the final few imps on these stairs. Hopefully, um, so you can see there's one down towards the bottom there. Um, sometimes if they stick, if they're you know, have, right up against the wall and they're a few tiers down, um, your rockets, uh, your cell tracers won't hit them, so you kind of need to hope that there's not any that are too far down the levels. So just this archfire wave left. Um, one of the consequences of clearing all the revenants at the back is that there's no um, revenant corpses in the inner building here, which means that the only thing that revs, uh, the archfiles can resurrect 
is other arch files. Um, eventually I just made the decision to um, you know, stop trying to line a sight them, stay out and kill as many of them as I can and try and clear the wave out, which I was able to. And that's it, we're done. Alrighty, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you all next time. Catch you later.